Hello, all my Sagittarian friends. This is Maxine Taylor, and I have your Sagittarius forecast for March 2022. Um, I want to talk for just one second though about to those of you who um, have been asking about do I teach astrology? It, it you know it comes in waves, and so uh, your emails have told me that uh, of course there are many of you who would like to study astrology with me. Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, just go to my website, maxinetaylor.com, and you'll find all the information you need. I'm mentoring people. I'm teaching them everything I know. And I'm working with those people who already know astrology, perhaps are students of astrology, but need a little tweaking because, you know, no two astrologers agree on anything. And so they want clarification. I conduct all of my classes on Zoom face-to-face -face with the student. I video it and send them the, the video afterwards so they have it forever. So if you just go to my website, maxinetaylor.com, all the information is there. And if you have questions, just contact me. Of course, I'd be delighted to talk with you. So Sagittarius, let's talk about this forecast, shall we? Wow. First of all, let's start with Venus, the pink planet. It is the planet of money, of beauty, of uh, <clears throat> blessings. It's in the second house of money. And so what I find is wherever Venus is, that's where it brings beauty, it brings love. And in the second house of money, uh -huh, it brings money. On the fifth, it's going to enter your third house of communication, correspondence, and transportation, not long distance, but close by. You will see things through the eyes of love and beauty. It will be lovely. Now, Mars, the red planet, is, has also been in your second house. And wherever Mars is, that's what we throw ourselves into. That's what we fight with and fight for. That's what comes first to us. And when Mars is in our second house, we can create money. Mm -hmm. We can spend it just as quickly, but we can create it. So Mars and Venus have been traveling hand in hand. Venus will enter the third house on the fifth, Mars on the sixth. And Mars in the third house shoots from the hip. It tells it like it is. Mars is passion. Remember, in the second house, it's passionate about money and it creates money. In the third house, it's passionate about its opinion, about its ideas. And so it's going to tell it like it is. Uh, perhaps with anger, impatience, um, just letting it all hang out. Fortunately, Venus can smooth it over. Okay. And so you have love and passion in your verbiage. Are you writing a book? Are you doing a blog? This is the time of communication. Mercury which rules the third house in the natural zodiac is the sign of communication. And so lots of ideas going through your head last month. On, I need my glasses here, excuse me. Ah, much better. On the ninth, Mercury moves into the fourth house of home and family and real estate. And that is where your attention goes. Mercury has help from the sun, the yellow planet. That's the center of our life. And so home and family become very important to you. Are you uh, renovating? Are you buying? Are you selling? Or are you just visiting? Or are you just staying home with a remote in your hand? It doesn't matter. Home, family, and real estate, your focus. On the 20th, the sun moves into your fifth house of fun and games, and you are ready to party. The fifth house is also children. 
And if you have kids, I don't care what their ages are, they are going to want attention from you. If you don't have children, but maybe you have a pet, our pets can be our child, our children. I've seen that. I've had that. I mean, my my cat is my child. Um, so this is a time to enjoy yourself. What are your hobbies? What do you love to do? Make that the center of your life. Party like there's no tomorrow. And Mercury is going to move in on the 22nd and join the sun. So you'll be communicating, you'll be talking, you'll be sharing ideas. Just enjoy yourself, Sag. Now, we have a new moon on the second in your fourth house of home and family. So that's when all the domestic issues come up, uh, whether it's renovation or, as I said, just sitting in front of the tube with the remote in your hand. It's in 12 degrees of Pisces. Find that in your birth chart and you've got the whole picture. Two weeks later, we have a full moon on the 18th in 27 Virgo. It's in your 10th house of your career of leadership. And this helps you move upward in your career and offsets all this activity down here, particularly the fourth house and fifth house that say, I wanna stay home and I wanna play. You may have an opportunity to move upward. I suggest you give it a look, okay? So that's what I've got to share with you. Join me, won't you, next month when once again, I take a look at your forecast. Until then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.